Okay, so I am going to be streaming some modern today. This weekend is SCG Richmond, which is week one standard of the new format. But I spent all of last week playing new standard decks as part of the streamer early access event. Um, you cannot find that on YouTube. So for those of you watching on YouTube, I'm sorry there was no content last week. Uh, but that's because I didn't really have a good way to organize it. And I didn't want to just put like a gigantic file up on YouTube. I didn't really think that was accomplishing anything. So I just... You know, did a bunch, threw a bunch of bunch, threw around a bunch of ideas. Uh, did a pretty long stream last week and played a bunch of new standard decks. So this week, instead of playing more standard, um, I'm gonna play a little bit of modern because there have been some changes in modern recently. So uh, with War of the Spark coming out, which was not legal at the most recent Mythic Championship, there's been a new deck that popped up. It's like this Neoform Allosaurus Rider deck. You'll see that. Um, if you're on YouTube, it's already up. It's going to be somewhere in uh, the other video for today. But this is the first league we're going to play today, and I have not actually played against that deck at all. Um, but this is a sub list from a subscriber that wanted to see me... Apparently, there's a bunch of it online. Apparently, there's a bunch of this deck running around um, on Magic Online and because it's pretty cheap. And so this is like a deck that hopefully can compete against it. I mean, Thoughtseize seems like it would be good against the deck trying to kill you in turn one. So it makes sense to me that like the Death Shadow deck should be something that's good against um, good against this like turn one combo-ish deck. But it's also something that's like, you know, using some more of the Spark cards and also just like a little bit spicier than traditional Grixis Death Shadow. Man, why we got to start with the boring deck? It's not boring. What are you talking about? Dude, anytime we're Dreadhorde Arcanist with, like, Bacomaments, I'm in. How are you not excited to do this? It's not, I mean, maybe it's not as, like, exciting if you like combos or killing people on turn one, but there's something to be said for Thoughtseize into, like, some Dreadhorde Arcanist into, like, hopefully some cantrips into, like, just kill them. So, anyways, yeah, this is, like, a little bit more akin to the Death Shadow Zoo deck, which is a deck, th a, a, deck a deck that existed in... Um, gosh, like a year or two ago, it was like the thing that first started the Death Shadow decks. It was um, <laughs> shut up, Teddy. You look, you didn't, you, you thought you were expecting uh, Grixis Shadow, but you're you're Shadow guy. Um, anyways, yeah, this is this is like more akin to the Zoo deck. It has Wild McCoddles and it has Monster Swiss Spears, and like this was this was kind of what the original Shadow decks were doing. They were trying to leverage mutagenic growth with Death Shadow, so you can like basically gives your Shadow plus four plus four, which is kind of sweet. Good rate at zero mana, and like also kind of leverage the prowess creatures where you could like team or battle rage people out pretty easily. Um, so it's kind of, I mean, it's trying to do that. There's a lot of what the Shadow deck's still trying to do in here. Like there's a lot of, you know, the fetches, the shocks, the street race to get your shadows small. So like a lot of the shadow core is still here, but instead of playing like a fairer game with like Snapcaster mages and removal, maybe a planeswalker and like a couple extra interactive spells, we're going all in on the aggressive plan with things like Monastery Swiss Spear, Wild Nakatl, and the new card Dreadhorde Arcanist, which has Trample already. And has good synergy with Becomements, because you can Becomements it, and then when you attack with it, it says you cast an Sorcery card to bring mana cost less than or equal to its power, and so it has 7 power, so you get to cast your Becomements again. So, that's that's a nice little synergy. We're going to give that a try. Um, that's the typical, like, cantrips, trying to be, like, a little bit of a Xerox deck to cheat on lands, because we don't need that many lands. Our highest CMC card that we're actually paying mana for is 2. Um, this card is 1 mana all the time, I promise, and Team Battle Rage is 2 mana as well. Um, you still got some interactive pieces though, you got some fatal pushes, this will help against Phoenix for like getting the stupid thing in the ices out of the way. And you also have some lightning bolts, which, you know, we're an aggressive deck, so we want, we would like lightning bolt to be our removal spell of choice since it can go face, but it is not actually, I mean it's not as effective as removal spells it used to be in modern. Got some dot seasons to help beat the turn one, turn one combo deck, and here's all the pump suite. We got mutagenic gross, good with Dreadhorde Arcanist as well, you can just pump it, pump it again, it still like becomes a, uh, five power trampler for essentially no, uh, no mana at all, which is pretty pretty attractive. Uh, still, like, it gets to be, once again, a two mana plus four, I mean, a zero mana plus four plus four for both this card and this card. Good deck building. And then we got our team of battle rages for, for killing people quickly. Got some more of them in the board for killing uh, killing the combo decks even quicker. Um, you'll notice a little bit of a light splash of white. Didn't really talk about the lands because they're all kinds of colors. Uh, you notice two white lands in this, in this mix of black, red, and green lands. And that's for the Path to Exile and Face Shield. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't know why this card's in our sideboard. Target you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Um, I, I guess. Like I don't really know why we want to brave the elements in our colors in our deck, but I guess we do. 
Maybe, like, Apostle's Blessing makes more sense than this card? I don't really know, but it was in the sub list, so we're going to play it. Um, other than that, the mana base, I mean, a bunch of fetches and shocks. I mean, we have actual lands that produce mana. I think we have, like, five. Wait, do we, do we only have four? One, two, three, four. Wow, we have four lands that actually produce mana. Is that really right? Oh, my God. We're going to die. I feel like we should have, like, one more, but no, apparently we have... <laughs> What is this, 13 fetches and four lands that produce mana? We're doing it. Um, we got four duresses in the sideboard for I don't know what. Why these are better than Inquisitions? Because there's no Inquisitions in our deck list. Um, that's what was given to me. We're going to duress the shit out of some people. We, oh, there's an Inquisition. I'm sorry. I was hiding. We have one Inquisition. The calculated one Inquisition. We did the math, I promise. It was all mathematical. Drake, have you seen Endgame? I have seen Endgame, Austin. Don't post any spoilers in here. I'll ban you. It's rude. And this is going up on YouTube. Your curve tops at two. It's the most reasonable thing I've heard. Yeah, exactly. Four, four lands for curve the tops at two. I guess. But, I don't know. Maybe. 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 Uh, we can't cast a street race. Never mind. Unacceptable. Uh, we got the other two fatal pushes for when we want to interact with creatures. This will be good against decks like humans. Decks that are traditionally pretty bad matchups for trying to run some ground creatures into uh, other ground creatures. And we got Collective Brutality, which kind of pulls double duty against decks like Burn, where you can just, like use all three modes, and then you also randomly sometimes have an extra discard spell, which we're pretty focused on. We have no stubborn denials, so we do need to have a little bit more discard spells. And also, it can be a, uh, a little bit inefficient of a removal spell, but it is still a removal spell for creatures. Um, rounding out the sideboard, we got the other two Teamer Battle Rages. Like I said, best kind of graveyard hate is them being dead, so Teamer Battle Rages are, uh, appears to be our graveyard hate. So against Dredge, we're just looking at Teamer Battle Rage to shit out of them as quickly as we can. And... Uh, I don't know. That's probably about it. Any deck that has removal, we don't want it. Any deck that's like trying to uninteractively race us, we want it. So that's a that's a reasonable plan. And we got Ancient Grudge for artifacts. I assume this is like because of like Whir, maybe like Tron, we might want this. But I don't actually know. There's Affinity's not that popular right now, so I don't really know what artifacts are blowing up in Modern right now. Actually, great like Artifact Hate is like pretty bad right now in Modern, but. We'll figure it out. Also, we're going to be playing Friendly League, so hopefully there won't be, like, all Neoform combo, but I would like to play it once today um, in, our, in our league. But, you know, we're going to be friendly so we may not. We may not. All right. Let's play. Let's play some Magic. It's in Team Chat, not this one. Okay. I'll check. Austin, I'll check Team Chat after, after stream. Or I'll just check it now since we're waiting. Oh, you just want to talk about it? Did you like it, Austin? I assume you saw it. I'm down to talk about it, like just like your feelings on it, but just don't don't do any spoilers. Do you, do you like did everybody watching? Do you guys if you guys seen Endgame? Do you like Endgame? I want to know. Let me hear from you. Wow. Hi, XM is there? Oh, I made the mistake. Oh, that was your reaction after the movie. It's a good reaction. There's definitely a lot to take in. That was that was what I noticed about the movie myself, was that, like, there was just a lot. Teddy says, uh. That's not a feeling, on, a feeling about the movie. Oh. Uh, would you like to play first? I'd love to. Uh, this has, like, a Thoughtseize and a Threat. And, like, stuff. So I think I'm supposed to keep this? Oh, what did I just do? There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping this. Oh, it's London Mulligan roll, too, which is sweet. I think... I don't know if I'm supposed to Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize with, like, prowess sounds kind of nice. But if we are terrified of the Neoform deck, we should Thoughtseize on turn one. But I don't think I'm going to. Because, like... Okay. We could bobble to see what's up. I'm so bad with Mistress Bobble. Honestly, here's a disclaimer. Before you guys watch this entire video, I should not ever play a deck with Mistress Bobble in it. Because, like, that card is the most, like, get stupid small advantages card I've ever seen. And I'm just, I'm horrible with my timing with it. As, as if those of you that follow me religiously have seen. I want to see what, like, Infinity War more. I do want to watch Endgame again, though. If people have watched the whole franchise. It does do that, X Emissary. I do feel like it rewarded, uh,. Swift 
Bobble, growth, get him dead. We're growthing too? Are we, should we be growthing? I think we're supposed to hold growth, right? Because it doesn't do anything as like a... As just a plus three, plus three, like a zero amount of bolt. It does do something with um, team or battle rage though. So I think we're supposed to hold it for team or battle rage. But I do think I'm supposed to bobble. Whatever, let's just fetch shock and like get, get going here. Anyway, I do think there was a lot of callbacks in in-game. So it does reward you. It does reward you for watching the whole series. Look at this. The old the old two actual targets for my wooded foothills. Oh, there's a third in my hand. Uh, don't need white, so it's just this. I'd love to pay two life. Nothing would make me happier. Here's this thing. Doop, doop, doop. I, I also agree with you, Mitch. I think I liked Infinity War a little bit more. And not really at the fault, I think, of the movie. I think I think Endgame was a very good movie. But I do think I liked I liked Infinity War and the position it was in a little bit more. Hmm. So I'm going to see their card next turn anyway. I guess this informs... This doesn't really inform anything. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do that. Ethereal armor? Are we playing against Boggles? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I guess Boggles is kind of good with the uh, the mulligan roll. In that case, I really feel stupid for not thought season because now they're going to be like, play my Boggle, 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 Boggle. Although Team of Battle Rage is probably really, really good against Boggles. Um, let's shock this in. Black. We'll cast the good Thoughtsies. Though. We'll cast the, the Loro and Thoughtsies. Alright, what do you got? Another Boggle. Hyena Umbra. A Rancor. And Flinging Courage. This is three mana and they have no other lands. They don't even have... Gosh, they don't even have a white source. Oh my god. I think it was just thick ethereal armor. It feels like it does the most, although Rancor does give it the most power. If they draw a white source, they can rank or hyena number, whereas if they draw a white source, they can only play one. Maybe that's an argument for taking Rancor. Rancor is also their only castable. This is tough. I actually agree with you, X Emissary. I agree with that a lot, that they manage the larger cast better. I actually think I'm going to take the Rancor. This could easily be very wrong, but I think taking the Rancor is kind of fine here. Um, so I can Mutagenic. I guess I think I still want to hold the Mutagenic because this is only going to put me to four. I think I might bolt them though. Yeah, I think I'm going to bolt them. Let's see if they block. It will not block. Alright. Let's bolt them. We're gonna... I don't know if this actually kills them, but we dealt... They're at 12. We have 3 plus 7 is 10. 11. 12? I think we have 12. I think we have 12 next turn. So... Yep, that's fine. They did draw the white source. They did draw the bagel. Okay, uh, so we're going to Thought Seize their other, what's it called, their Hyena Umbra. We're, we're going to hope they don't hit the land for this. They're, they're a low land count deck. Maybe that's just bad. Maybe that is just bad. Maybe maybe we should like be playing to the higher upside thing, but I really want to take their Hyena Umbra. I'm going to take their Hyena Umbra. I've decided. All right, and then I'm going to like just slam go to combat and hope they don't do anything. This, this means no blocks, right? All right, so plus three to five plus seven is 12. Nice! Pay two life. Okay. Cast it on this. Oh, we'll leave the thing in graveyard. Boop! You're done! Both teams played hard. Got him! <laughs> oh, that was kind of sweet. Even though they, like, top-decked the thing, we just got to, like, beat the crap out of Boggles. So I feel like the discard spells are really good. 
Team or Battle Rage is really good. Path to Exile seems awful. What does this do? Gains protection from the color of your choice. That's actually probably really good, right? Because, like, we just be like, proc green, hit you. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Uh, I think duress is a trap. If you can't take the creatures, I think you're probably wasting your time. Um, I think the pushes are god-awful. We're going to leave some bolts in for sure. So the pushes are bad. I don't know how good this card is, because I don't know how well it actually attacks. Hmm. Same with, like, Nakato. Like, this, do we take out some of these, like, really mopey creatures? I don't know the answer to that question. They're kind of attacking me with damage, so maybe we should have, like, a Street Wraith. I'll cut, like, one. I think that's reasonable. What should I do, Teddy? Neoform is solid. <laughs> Both teams played hard. Kind of want to test Neoform, but don't actually want to play it. <laughs> or watch any anime play it. <laughs> Are you talking about, talking about me playing it? Because I'm going to play it later today. Though Shadow is its worst matchup. Talking about Neoform. Are you saying that just because you like Shadow? Because I feel like that's the case here. Vroom, vroom. Hold on. I'm going to try to, like, fix this. There we go. Streamlabs, why are you such a quality piece of software? All right. Where was I? I have a minute left to sideboard. That's so much time. Um... I feel like the bolts aren't awesome. All the pump spells are great because we care a lot about... I guess we want Street Wraith because we care a lot about getting these up and running. Because, like, this is, like, a big part of our plan. So maybe the Arcanists are just kind of bad because they're slow and don't... Like, we're not really trying to grind them out. We're trying to just, like, punk them out. I hope that logic makes sense. I like cutting some Nacatl. Is cutting Nacatl better or worse than cutting the 1-3? Because I just cut the 1-3 for 2 mana. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to give Neoform a try. I think it's probably pretty good. Is this hand good? This hand looks kind of fine. It feels hard to mulligan a hand with, like, functional mana, threats, like, a team or battle rage already. Uh, yeah, I think we just got to keep this. I'm a bagel. Bagel! That is also a bagel. It's so weird coming back to playing Moto. I've been playing uh, Arena for the last, like, week and a half, two weeks, so, like... This is, like, pretty weird coming back. Uh-oh, another land. That's kind of bad. Uh, is this supposed to fetch first? Maybe not. Bolt that. Bolt you. Hmm. Maybe we're supposed to put it on blocking duty. Let's cycle. Comments. Is this a, a combo chat? This feels like a combo does this exile card in my graveyard? Yeah, it does. We'll let it. Useless! Well, we've got a reasonable plan. Alright, yeah, let's just shock this in. Swiss beer. Blockings for chumps. Cowards can't block warriors. Boop. So, I don't know how quickly we can turn this on. Next turn, we're going to, like, put two more cards in the yard. Play. I guess we're going to put one card in the yard. I'd really like to fetch tap lands here. But if they... Okay, they can hit me for, like, a million. I don't want to get hit for a million. Another becomments. Right now, it, like, just has first strike. Do we cast it any faster? I guess we really need the Arcanist in play. So I have to fetch Shock, play Arcanist, and if they play any enchantment, we're dead? If they play Daybreak Corn out, we're like very dead. Oh, gross. Put second card in the yard, play Arcanist. And then we're still quite a few cards short. Third card in the yard. Yeah, I guess we have to block with Swiss Beer. Yeah, we have to block with Swiss Beer this turn. This is wild. Alright. Boop. Uh, I don't want to show them white yet. We have another fetch land anyway. So just shock this into play. Well, it doesn't cast any of our spells, right? Put the Arcanist into play. 
So what we got six to seven, 13, 26. Yeah, so we, we should just pass and block. Jesus. Do you have like a daybreak too? Oh God. 13, so we have five toughness. That's Xaxes. You have a path too? Blah, stop! I get it. I get it. All right, all right. Fine, I'm dead. You did it. I think our sideboard plan is good. I don't want any fatal pushes. I don't want any ancient grudge. Dreadmore Arcanist looked awful there. All these cards are bad. Maybe you want like a duress. I really don't want a duress. Click submit. Yeah, that was that was basically as bad as it could possibly go. No, that's not true. I think a daybreak cornet would have been slightly worse. Be on the play. A lot of fucking creatures. Okay, so now here's like kind of a question we got to ask ourselves. Are we actually going to race Poggles with just a bunch of fucking creatures? I think the answer is no. For what it's worth, I don't think this hand is good enough. Because I think we want, especially on the play, we want some turn one discard. So I think I'm going to mulligan this. Mulligan. Ooh, this hand is noticeably better. Sneep! Teddy, get out of here! <laughs> I think that hand was never beating Boggles. This is like the kinds of hand Boggles are great at beating. Uh, seems like an easy bottom bolt, right? I don't want to bottom the extra shadow. Uh, I'm going to keep this bottom the bolt. I think bolt's easily the least impactful card in this hand. Shock. Nope, that's white mana. I need black mana. Thought sees you. Oh yeah, this hand's this hand's bonkers. Where's your creature? Yeah, oh, you got a spirit dancer too. Damn it! And I bought him the bolt. I fucking suck. And they have a path. Oh, they only have one land. All right, yeah, we're gonna take late cover scout. It's just gonna take them forever to get anything started. And any life loss from this point on lets us start playing shadows. Yeah, uh, okay, they didn't draw a creature, which is great. If I draw another discard spell... Oh, God. <laughs> that card looks so embarrassing. Go. Please don't draw land. Yes. Okay. There's a fetch land. All right. And we got, we got this to give our stuff protection, too, so we can just, like, fetch all the white and red sources and black sources and lions and tigers and bears. Uh, so I want Sacred Foundry Overgrown Tomb, I think. Yeah, let's grab Overgrown Tomb, pay two life. Them stumbling was great. We're owning. All right, and then do I want Stumbling Ground? No, I need to cast two shadows, so I need the Sacred Foundry, pay two life. Black, Dust Shadow. Here is some really, really hard to set up Wild McCoddles. Go. This is an instant, right? Direction of the color of your choice. Cool. This is fine. I accept. Probably going to fetch shock path, and we're going to face shield it. Look at this. See, it was all part of my master plan. I'm just a genius. Absolute genius. Patrick105, you are no match for me. All right, what does this do? Keens, protection of the color of your choice. Cool. White. This. Target that. Look at that, but you, we have a reader right here. We have a reader. Choose a color. Oh, that's cute. I can't choose colors. White. Put that path in the graveyard. Go. Did they draw their land? They're drawing to like land or one drop creature, or both like fine draws. Looks like they drew neither. Path's also a reasonable draw. They have a lot of pretty good draws, which is really, really frustrating. Path. Child. Uh, sure. No lands. Unlucky. Didn't put a basic in the deck. Alright. Something good. That counts. 
Fetch. Shock. Yes. What does this put me at? Six, so I can hit him for 12. So we want to be able to attack their creature next turn. So we're going to put him to 11. And then we will pass. Well, this does, like, not really play around path very well. But if they fetch and play, like, a core spirit dancer and be like, whatever. Here's a core spirit dancer. Then we get to, like, team or battle rage them. Like, as it stands, if they just play core spirit dancer, we get to, like, kill them. Which would be nice! Okay, you're dead. We both played hard. You're very dead. <laughs> we both played very hard. Uh, huh. I guess I should cast this one. Okay, we're, no, we're, we're going to tap like this. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, there we go. There we go. We should cast this one. One, two, three, four, five. Pay green. Green. Red. Boop. This. Combat. Yeah. 20 for you. Very dead. Nice. <laughs> I was so ready to fail to find there. We did it. We're owning. Yeah, no, we, we fetched our last land out. Oh, the old first match we fet we fetched every single vegetable land out. This is this really feels like we're living on edge. Like, how do we ever beat a field of ruin? Like, I just legitimately don't understand. <laughs> Although, honestly, Blue Light Control is probably a really, really bad matchup anyway. Alright, match two. 1-0. and 1-0 oh. oh with this sweet deck. This deck's awesome. This is honestly the kind of Shadow deck I would want to play. Because I really like just the Get Em Dead super, like, hyper-aggressive plan. I really dislike this, like, fair, I'm gonna grind you out Juki plan that Grixis Death Shadow does. I, I don't know. I could never play that deck. I think this is supposed to be a keep. This hand's pretty mediocre, but I kind of like it, so I'm gonna keep it. It has two threats. It has, like, a bobble with, like, a fetch land, which is always attractive. I don't know. We're about to be playing against Burn, which is gonna be... Actually, I feel like Burn is pretty good for this hand. Uh-oh. Is this just Phoenix splashing white? What is this? Why is this card in your deck? I don't understand. Okay, I guess I hold Bobble now. Maybe I try to figure out what the hell they're doing. Because I think I was supposed to bolt this. So if I fetch Shock Bolt. Oh, I could do it on their turn. That's kind of bad. Maybe it's not. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna need QT with our with our bobble here. Alright, we have all of our fetchable lands. None of we cannot draw another land for the rest of the game. Um, what land am I supposed to play? So there's no Blood Crypt in this deck for some reason. And I think I'm supposed to fetch a green, a red green land first. Yeah, so I'm supposed to play not Marsh Flats, anything but Marsh Flats. Uh, Verdant Catacombs has less targets. Yeah, I'm supposed to play Verdant Catacombs. Okay. Cast this. It's probably wizards. Burning wizards. Notorious. What is that? I don't know what that means. I feel like... I don't know who I'm going to get more information out of, but I think I'm supposed to target myself. Wild Nacoddle? I'm okay with a Wild Nacoddle? I think I am. I think I'm okay with a Wild Nacoddle. It dies to Bolt, which is a little frustrating. But we're going to play like a turn two Arcanist. Yeah, we're, we're just going to... Alright, let's let this happen, then let's fetch, and shock this in, and lightning bolt this, and proceed with my life. If they, like, mutagenic it, then whatever, fine. They could have mutagenic it at any point in time. Are they casting something? They have a blue floating. Maybe they're drawing the mutagenic growth, I don't know. They might be able to opt in the mutagenic growth, I guess. Could also just have, like, Spell Pierce or something. I don't really know. I think GZZ means more like burn, not like burning. Oh. It's like Heavy Prowess creatures Delver and, like, 12 bolts. Sure. Oh, well, you're probably right. Because here's, like, Delver. Is that, like, a deck? I've never even heard of this. I mean, I've played a lot of Modern in my day, and I've never heard of, like, Burning Wizards. There's a Fatal Push. We could, like, Nakato Fatal Push. That's not an unreasonable turn. 
Because, like, it's better than playing this thing that just, like, dies to bolt straight up, right? I kind of just want to, like, keep killing their threats. Because, like, I have plenty of damage I can deal to myself here already. Or I can just put the Arcanist in play and probably get it bolted. You said there's, like, 12 bolts in this deck. I'd rather bait out a bolt with the Nakadol. Yeah, I think that's good. I think being mana efficient is valuable here. Alright, let's cast this on this. Let's cast this on this. Notice, notably, we're going to conserve a little bit of life here. If they have, like, any kind of shock effect, I'm going to feel like an idiot. Like, if they have Electrolyze in their deck, like, I'm just the biggest forehead on the planet. But next turn... I actually don't know... What are they doing? Are they just passing? Okay. Uh, just fetch and shock. Yes. Combat. That was like the wrong land, right? No, this fetch is gone. This right. Okay, cool. Want to make sure I didn't just screw that up. There you go. Take three, and then we're gonna play a dreadhorde arcanist, I guess. Yeah, I want to hold the shadow for a little while. Until until I can keep it out of bolt range, so we're gonna wait till next turn to play our shadow. This might get like countered, I guess. Or not. I don't know what my opponent's doing. They have five cards in the end. I assume assume they're gonna start bolting stuff. But it ain't gonna be my shadow. Swiss bear, you got it, pal. If they attack, it's an easy block right now. Vapor snag, target arcanist, you got it. You got it. I got it. Oh, they hit me. Alright, they did hit me. So now my shadow's gonna be dry fucking enormous. Uh I think we're just going to be able to. Yeah, we're gonna play all this out of range. Okay, cool. So we got a sweet turn lined up here. Um let's play this. Cast this. Target me. Lightning Bolt. That's a pretty good one. Uh, so let's make red. Red. Play. Replay the Arcanist they know about. Uh, combat. We'll attack for three. And then we're going to play a Shadow. Alright. That was, that was a good turn. I'm, I'm happy with that. the way that turn played out. We're going to pick up a lightning bolt. Notably, this land, we're about to, like, if we have to bolt, we can't. Because this only fetches the godless shrine. But part of me kind of just wants to fetch tap land. If they're, like, planning to just bolt me out and snag me out. Like, obviously, they have some kind of burn plan. What is this targeting? My shadow. You got it. All right. I don't think I'm supposed to jump block. If they bolt me, that's six damage between the two. Maybe I'm supposed to jump block. I think I'm going to jump block. Based on the way they played this game, I assume they have enough burn to bolt me out. Alright, yeah, we're going to jump block. Yeah. Switch its power and toughness. Sure, dude. Wild. This is, this is a wild deck. Main deck, Twisted Image. Sure. That saved me a couple points. Uh, I don't think the difference between seven, eight, and seven is huge. So I think I'm gonna fetch fetch a tap land here. Just like do not want to draw a land and also want to be able to use all my mana. I can thought seize them. That'll probably save me life actually. Like I can probably just take a lightning bolt or whatever. So we can bolt this. We can bolt this thought seize shadow, or we could dreadhorde darkness shadow thought seize. I think I like that. Actually, let's just lead on Thoughtseize and we'll figure it out. Boop. They play Vapor Snag. Three Vapor Snags? My god. Alright, I think this is fine. They should have like a lot of bolts and a Storm Chaser Mage. Or they should have one Lightning Bolt and a Storm Chaser Mage. Well, this saves me life, so I'm down for it. Um, also took their only removal spell, right? So they can't remove this Dreadhorde Arcanist. So yeah, let's play Shadow... And let's play Arcanist. We're going to hold this bolt to try to kill them. Tag for three. And go. Alright, I think we're in a good spot. 
It's kind of tilting that we've had to spend so much mana. Once again, we have fetched all of our possible lands out. Feels good, man. We're at five against a lot of bolt decks. But actually, this island looks atrocious in their mana base right now. Because, like, I was expecting to see, like, three lightning bolts in their deck, and they just don't have them. Like, I don't know how many bolts they're actually playing, but, like, if they... Risk Factor looks awful here, too. But, like, if they had, like, a bunch of bolts... Like, I'm not sure I could win. All right, that's fine. We're going to bolt both their creatures next turn and kill them, so I think they're actually just deterministically dead unless they have a land. It looks like they do not. All right, my turn. Me turn! Bolt that one. And they'll probably concede here. I guess not. All right. We get to activate an Arcanist. Let's go! Bolt. Okay. Oh, where are you going? What the... What? Come on. I actually think I could have bolted them too, but I guess bolting the creatures plays around mutagenic growth, right? Yeah, it plays around mutagenic growth like trying to kill me, I guess. So, that feels good. Feels good, man. All right, removal seems excellent against this little goofy wizard's deck. I kind of just want like all of like the things. Like I just want like this. I just want like... All of the cards that cost black mana in the deck. Kind of don't really want Battle Rage. I don't really think that's what we're about. This card seems horrific. Like, they just, like, bounce it. Like, it's just an expensive mana investment. Like, they could just bounce stuff. Oh, yeah. Become that seems bad for the same reasons, actually. It, like, doesn't protect my creatures well. Mutagenic Growth protects my creatures well, so I actually like that a lot. But, like, I think we kind of want to just switch gears and become a little more interactive. And, like, I don't think any of this is part of our plan. Maybe we have the creatures anyway, just because, like, the creatures are better than the pump spells. So what if we just cut, like, all of the pump spells? It's not unreasonable, I think. Except Mutagenic. We're going to leave Mutagenic. And, like, Street Race. Maybe Street Race just, like, suck. Cut, like... Yeah, especially when we don't have Becomments in our deck. Just want to cut, like, all this stuff. What's better? It's, like, one Becomements, like, reasonable. But, like, one Becomements. One Street Wraith. Good God. Oh, we can, we can have a path on our deck. All right, yeah, there we go. We can get, like, either the Shuriath or the Becomments out of the deck. There we go. Is this unreasonable? Shuriath is probably a little better than Becomements. Yeah, I think I like this. I think I like this. Island is really bad. Yeah, Island looked awful there. <laughs> Island did not look good at all. This looks good? Yeah, I think this looks good as well. We're just going to, like, try to... We're going to try to do our best impression of the other Shadow deck, the one that, like, interacts a lot more, uh, because... That's, like, what's good against this deck. The aggro plan, I'm surprised that actually worked. Like, my Nakatals lived and, like, all this shit. But that's because they had, like, really bad cards in their hand. Like, Risk Factor and, like, another 1-3 creature when I had a deck full of bolts. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is what I was talking about. Like, I just want to, like, push all other shit. Maybe let them get a couple points of damage in so that I can play a Shadow. Like, this hand seems like it plays the plan that we want to play perfectly. And there's a Monastery Swiss Spear. My god. Um, hmm. Do they play any, like, Delve Threats? Like, is there any reason why Bolt would be better than Push? Because right now I'm prioritizing Push higher because they can't, like, pop their stuff out of range. Hmm. Like, I don't want to get my creature... I don't want to get this, like... This card's awkward because I don't want to get this shot with, like, a Bolt and, like, Mutagenic out of the range of the Bolt, but then it just puts counters on it and kills it anyway. So, like, the fact that I can't protect this Monster Sister with this Mutagenic growth makes me just want to kill this. Once again, I can't fetch a Blood Crypt. So, this fetches every land on my deck, right? It's like Stomping Ground, Evergreen Tomb, Call the Shrine, Sacred Foundry. All right, yeah, yeah. So, this is the best fetch land, so this fetch land's worse. So, I'm going to fetch and try to find... Can I grab a red source of this? I can't. I can grab Sacred Foundry. Oop. Yes. I'm going to bolt this. The next turn, I'm going to have this for a black land, and we're going to play Swiss Spear. Go. I think this game is going to go pretty well for our, for the home team here. Provided that my plan that I have to win this game is actually a good one. Hi, Mason. How are you? Did you stream today? Serum Visions, the value. The value. Monster Scripture doesn't attack for a ton, so I'm thinking I'm actually just going to play Swiss Spear and hold up Fatal Push. 
and just like pass the turn and see if they do do, do a little bit of damage for me for my uh, my death shadows. I think I'm willing to take like one more hit. We're at 15. Oh, never mind. We have a second mutagenic growth. That kind of changes a lot. So my fetch shock puts me to 12. I can play Swiss Spirit and Shadow. That is... Gobleh. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here for this. I'm here for this. I like this turn a lot. Boop, 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 boop. Alright, let's grab... Overgrown Tomb. Would you like to pick the life? I would love to. Swiss Spear... Black Death Shadow. Coming back. And, like, if they attack, we're actually just going to, like, block, I think, in Mutagenic. Maybe not. Maybe we just, like, don't block. I don't really know. If they're going to bolt it, we're going to, like, Mutagenic it and see what they do. I'm going to try to trade with bolts. If they just have Vapor Snag, it just grows the shadow a bunch. Oh, no. They just have a second Swiss Spear. That sucks. They bolt anything. I'm just going to mutagenic growth, whatever they target, and that's going to be really good. Gosh, these mutagenic growths really pulling their weight. Forked bolt, target, shadow for two damage. Nice. Oh, yeah, this. Faith to life. Nice forked bolt. Very powerful. Trades with cards so well. And now, they're now their attacks kind of suck, too. <laughs> Nice. Meal two damage. It is now a five three until end of turn. We we attacking? I'll block. Block. <laughs> Just no attacks. Absolutely brutal. Okay. Me turn. That's a nice one. It's a real nice one. So we could just like Are they dead? Can we like fetch shock to seven? push to six. Push push. Pass? What does that do? If we push, push, can we push, push mutagenic? Is that enough damage? I don't really know. I'm actually, like, not even going to do the math. I'm just going to fetch. Hey, what's up? I'm playing your deck. Your deck is sweet. This deck is awesome. I don't know if you caught the beginning of it, Captain, but uh, if not, it'll be on YouTube for you to watch. But this this deck is awesome. This stream today got a meeting later. Make sure you take a I'm going to take as many turns as I can. Oh, this weekend, Mason. Sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. All right, yeah, just blow this up. Move, please. Oh, the old. I don't know if they're dead. I don't really care. I'll figure it out later. Cast. Look at this, babe. Black. All right. So this is nine. If I cast this mutagenic growth targeting this death shadow, that gives four, five more. So that's 14. We're two points short. Fuck. I think we're still supposed to do it, right? Put them to two. Yeah, I'm gonna hold. What is this? What is this? Nine points of damage puts them to seven, but keeps me alive. So if they have bolt, bolt, I don't die. Fine, fine. I'm just gonna attack for nine. I'll hold the mutagenic. It's so tempting to put them to two, but like if they just have bolt, bolt, I die, and I don't like dying. So <laughs> we're gonna play around bolt, bolt. Wait till next turn, Notorious. I hope you're talking about the mutagenic because they speed everything else. I just still put lethal on board, so they have to block with whatever they pick. And, like, if they don't block the shadow, then we mutagenic. So we have them under an abyss still. Like, it's still a good turn, but it does not quite kill them. What is this? What's this? Lava spike me. Well, that's one bolt. All right. My turn? Just gonna let me go. Well, I'm not gonna fetch. Combat. Uh, attack with the lethal ones. Okay. You have the vapor snag. What are you doing? Why are we waiting so long? Oh. Okay. You were just. You're just done. All right. All right. Yeah. No. They, they didn't like say anything. Alright. Sure. Look at that. 2 0. This deck is awesome. Did you get the Becomments on Arcanist into Becomements on it again? 
I have not, I've not gotten to do that yet. I did get to like double bolt the creatures that were in the way with Arcanist. So I got to activate Arcanist's ability and like it just bolted the two creatures in the way for lethal, which was pretty sweet. Um, we got to kind of dunk on uh, Boggles, which is our round one opponent. And we like just become immense uh, team or battle rage him for like 24 or whatever. And that was pretty sweet. Uh, and we won game one by just, like, pucking them out with the become events. Like, I guess they didn't see it coming and didn't know that it was in our deck. And we just, like, attacked and they didn't block. And they got got! Which is sweet. And that match, that match we had to, like, cut all the nonsense. Like, we cut the become events and the team of battle rages because they were, like, kind of bad. Because I assumed they were going to be bolting my creatures. Although they did a lot less bolting my creatures than I expected out of an all bolts deck. So, I don't really get it. But, whatever. It was sweet. It was a good time. We're 2-0. We're owning. Did lose a game to the Boggles deck where they just like had creature enchantment, 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 enchantment. And they were like Rancors and Ethereal Armors. But overall, we're doing great. I don't know. I don't really know. Like, I kind of wish this deck was like, maybe this deck is playable. Why do I feel like this deck just, like, doesn't get credit as being, like, as good as the other Shadow decks? Like, I don't actually understand. Like, I always liked the the Zoo decks, and they definitely took a different angle from, like, the Grixis Shadow decks. And I know they were bad against the Grixis Shadow decks because of the deck with more interaction, I think, in the Shadow Asymmetry one. But, like, I feel like this is probably good against, like, everything else. John Shadow was so much more fun than Grixis. Yeah, I very much agree with that. Like, just, like, I want to be doing this stuff. Oh, well, three lands. We have an 18-land deck, and I've had an above-average amount of lands in all the hands. I'm keeping this because his hands are very good, but, like, it is a little odd to me. My opponent's mold to five. You think we're about to get neoformed? Now I'm, like, terrified. Anytime my opponent mold's low, I'm just like, are we about to get neoformed? Are we dead? Are we just dead? They're mulliganing. I can't beat a mulligan. Uh, the rack. Well, my opponent is very honest about what they're doing here. You got it, pal. Street Wraith. Is Street Wraith good against the wreck? I don't know. Uh, What's the worst fetch on? This is the best fetch on in this hand. I think this is the worst. Still want a Blood Crypt. Still don't have one. Okay. I guess it doesn't pop Wild Nakato, so it's like stupid insurance. Because stupid Drake would always fetch the Blood Crypt and then draw Nakato and feel like a forehead. So it's probably just like stupid people insurance. But the movement seems very good against the wreck. Though they never lead on turn one the rack. So this is so weird. Like, they're at five cards right now. I mean, I'm definitely supposed to discard them. I just, like... I don't know. I don't think the fetch land matters that much. Just go grab a overgrown tomb. Alright. Black, thoughts sees you. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to take the smallpox... Because I didn't want to get this creature blown up by smallpox. I think I'm going to hold this Street Wraith. I don't know what that accomplishes. Does that accomplish anything? I don't know. I'm just going to cycle it now. Boop. Another Swift Spear? It's not bad. Can't cast it because I'm an idiot. But it's fine. It's close enough. So they can collect a Brutality Me. Take a spell. I'm pretty fine with that. Yep. That's fine. They have one card in hand. Pretty cool with this. Gonna start holding some stuff, I think. How many, how many spells is this? X is three minus the number of cards in their hand. All right. Boop, draw a card. Wild Nacoddle. Oh, well, that's just great. That just lets me fetch everything, right? Yeah. So this fetches the Sacred Foundry I want and lets me play two creatures and hopefully outrace our friend Death Kids. Death Kins? I wonder if this is playing Davriel. I wonder that like that's why this deck's picked up. Because I feel like I've played the rack recently more than more than like I should be. Like the deck's not a real deck. But um it makes sense that if like they're excited to play Davriel that like we would see more of it. Note to self, take the draw next round. What's up? The problem is Crypt is bad with Wildicado, yeah. Obviously <laughs> I figured that out pretty quickly, but it's just like all of our cards are red and black, so unless we have two lands, it's pretty easy to cut yourself off a color that matters. This card's dead. Um I don't think I'm gonna play another land. So I guess I'm supposed to just play this monster so spear. I could play the land. 
No, I don't want to play the land. Tag it all. If they go to kill one of my creatures at any point uh, during like combat or whatever, I can push it to pump the uh, monster so spears, which is going to be a reasonable plan. They're drawing their like little payoff things. I don't know what their card in hand is. Um, I take no damage. Mutagenic growth. Bolts you to 11. That puts you to taking... So bolts worth 5 damage. So I have 5 on board. Bolts you for 5. Mutagenic. You look dead. So let's attempt to kill you. Um, bolt you. Yield, yield to the prowess triggers. Uh, combat. Tag with all. All right. After no blocks, green. Well, mutagenic. What's the least valuable creature? Probably one of the Swiss spears, right? Yeah. Those, like, this, the Nakata always tax for three, so we shouldn't target the Nakata in case they do have a removal spell. But I don't think they do. They're dead! We're owning! Nice rack deck, although they didn't bolt a five. So that makes sense. Uh, Team of Battle Rage seems pretty awful. Become Lens actually does seem really good, but I feel like Team of Battle Rage is really awful. I don't actually know what's good, though. Like, is this card good? This card feels good. Like, if they have a Snaring Bridge, I really want this card. Maybe this is all I want. Like the discard spells. The discard spells feel hit or miss. On the draw, I think they're misses. Maybe we should have other enough other bad cards. Can I cut like one? Is that a reasonable plan? I really don't want a lot of these pump spells. Like these mediocre pump spells, I think I really just want to get out of the deck. I don't know what I want. Like, I'm sorry. They go over here. I don't know what I want over it. Like, is duress good? Maybe duress is fine. Position's fine. The discarding the discard deck. Why do I feel like such an idiot? <laughs> uh, let me put Thoughtseize back in the deck. It's probably fine. To like one team or better in the deck. All right, we're gonna try this. I don't want to load up too much on discard, but I do think discard's pretty good. And ancient garage hits both the rack and uh, ensnaring bridge, which I expect them to have. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna hit the bathroom real quick. All right, I'll be right back. All right. I don't know. Is this a keep? Is this supposed to be a keep? What's up? Yeah, this is a one lander. Still keeping any remotely reasonable sevens against the rack, though. Yeah. The thing is, this land is extra suck, right? Because it's just like Marsh Flats is our worst fetch land. We have Street Wraith as another look. And Duress, I think, is big game against Smallpox. So, like, I think we're supposed to keep this. The bolts look pretty bad. I wonder if we're supposed to cut some more bolts. I think we probably were. Well, this is like an easy discard of Lightning Bolt, right? Arcanist seems actually pretty reasonable. All right, yeah, I'm gonna discard Lightning Bolt. Oh, I maybe should have like cycled Street Wraith first to see if I want to discard whatever I get off that. All right, well, we drew another land. 
This one does not fetch red. Yeah, it does fetch a sacred foundry. So now I want to shoot Wraith first. Uh, yeah, let's fetch in shock because I don't want to draw another land, so I want to get the land out of my deck. Marginal upside. Would you like to pay two life? Would love to. Um, let's get full information because if we pull like a ancient grudge, oh wow! If we pull like an ancient grudge, there's a chance I don't take an artifact. I might otherwise. Shadow. This is a thoughtsies. Look. All right. Well, we got a good turn next turn. Dress you. Uh, Shrieking Affliction, Liliana the Veil. So your hands are just like awful. Yeah, we'll take the Veil. That's easily the best card in your deck. Do not care about Shrieking Affliction at all. These hands, their hand keeps have not been solid. I feel like they're just like keeping any seven. Like speaking of keeping any reasonable seven. It feels like exactly what they're doing. I guess they have a discard spell. Oh, there's Raven Scrimming. Discarding all the lands. Uh, okay. Uh, this Arcanist feels like it's going to be pretty bad. Okay. Let's get rid of Nakadal. Let's make sure we can line up two threats next turn, even if our draw is bad. The comments. Wow. That's a fine discard, though. Hopefully. Oh, wow. This this is, like, awkward. So, like, I can fetch Godless Shrine, but I'm missing Mountain. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Our plan is to win with this stuff, so... If they Shrieking Affliction, it's really not going to go their way. <laughs> they can retrace my last card. That doesn't really matter. We're at 10. Yeah, it's faster than 10 to clock. They need a second thing before they can actually start Shrieking Affliction us. They have smallpox? Gross. Oh, it's just the rack. So they do have a second thing. Alright, yep. And they can double retrace. Wait, did they just die? I think they might have just died. So we can... Fetch Shock. I don't know. I'll figure it out. If they're not dead, then they're not dead. So we're going to Fetch Shock. What do I need? I need Mountain. So I can't fuck this up? Excellent. Pay two life. Um, 1720. The math checks out. Exactly 20. Uh, sure, we'll put it on this. One, two, three, four. All right, that's nine twenty. Good game. We both played hard. Nice. The rack so powerful. <laughs> oh, we just killed him from twenty <laughs> with two cards. Blah. <laughs> Nice rack deck. I feel like they drew perfect, but our perfect was better than their perfect. So take that. And Drake over here, freaking idiot, wanted to cut the pump spells. Don't you feel dumb. We should not hit him for a point at all yet. We just killed him one attack on, like, turn four. <laughs> just by being discarded three times. All right. I'll fuck with this deck. I'll fuck with this deck hard. This deck is awesome. We're about to 5 with this, like, pile of clownery. Probably. This deck's, like, really good. All right, what we got? Would you like to play first? I would love to. No lands. Easy mulligan. This still does not have lands. I would like to mulligan it. All these three landers that we kept in the previous matches, and then here we are. We can't find a single land. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Nice tof? Nice tof? Nistof. I don't know. Hopefully you correct me on that. I don't have no idea how to say your name. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Let's mulligan this again. Hey! A keepable hand! How convenient. Keep. Two cards on bottom. 
This is a tough one. I think I'm supposed to bottom the mutagenic. It's really low value. Now the question is between the second land and the dread horde arcanist. I think, I think, I think it's supposed to be second land. We have more lands than threats in our deck. I might just bottom the arcanist though, because if we draw a shadow, then I feel like a forehead. I'm gonna bottom the arcanist. All right, let's play this. Fetch something black. Black, green. Yeah, black green sounds good. They do like that's easy. All right, what you got? Uh oh, uh oh. This matchup probably sucks. The mana also sucks, and we can't beat that field of ruin. Holy shit! All right, we'll take your detentions. Fear. They have cryptic, snapcaster, some other stuff. Colonnade, you got it. Team or battle rage. Well, we have the combo. We have the combo. I uh, needed the sacred foundry. Yes. Boop. Combat. And I think we only need one of the land to actually pull it off. Uh, the flooded strand's new, which is good. Arcanist. All right, let's go to combat and attack first. If they flash in a Snapcaster Mage, we'll team about our rage. All right. Boop. Pretty fine with this. Does not give trample, I believe. Just gives double strike. Pretty happy to trade trade mana there. Like the rest of their hands, not very good. Although it's gonna be hard to cast my thing. Maybe they won't do it on my upkeep or my draw step rather. Hey, look, they didn't. What a guy. Can't afford for them to do it in combat, so I'm slamming this now before they realize their mistake. If they counter my spell, then woe is me. Alright. They cracked this for an island, so we still know about island. They also know about cryptic command. They're trying to hit terminus. Hopefully they do not. They did not. We're so lucky. They're still in a pretty high life total, unfortunately, but being able to flash back this uh, Dotsy is going to be nice. That's a pretty good draw, right? That's actually just a really good draw. Combat. Let's see if they cryptic tap my team. Tap all creatures. Draw a card. You got it. All right. No island. We'll play into the sweeper. I don't think we're beating a sweeper with one arcanist anyway, so we'll just play a sweeper and pass. I mean, play into the sweeper and pass. And if they have a sweeper, then whatever. I'm actually kind of playing around a Teferi. Like, if they have a Teferi here, it's going to be much worse. Hey, look. I'm a genius. Genius. They draw a card and untap, and they don't have anything, then we're in a good shape. Okay. Teamer Battle Rage. Oh my god. It's like I want to flash back this Thoughtseize first, right? But I may not be able to. This is tough. This is really tough. Like, we could just go for it. Like, what are the chances they have two mana removal salt? They're the only ones path to exile, right? So, I think we're supposed to jam. But we don't have to commit the team or battle rage right away. All right. Seven, thirteen. Gosh, this might be a mistake. 
It's tough, man. Seeing flashback thoughts, he's a flashback team or battle rage. I don't feel like it accomplishes anything. 7, 14. I guess it still kills them, right? Yeah. So. We can. The comments first. Yeah, I don't think I'm casting anything else, so let's just let's just utilize as little of my graveyard as possible. Choose this. Alright, I think this works the way I want it to. They have path, it sucks. If they have a counter spell, it's fine. So we have thought seize. For whatever else they have going on. Blech. All right. So we can pump this to three, four. We can't kill the fairy. But we're not really getting anywhere doing anything else, so. Attack to fairy, attack to fairy. All right, that's easy. You. Jesus, snare. Leak click. Yeah, we'll take the creature. I think we're dead. They had the removal spell, and I think we're dead. But I guess we'll keep lying. Now that they know, now that they know we have no basics, they can just feel to ruin me. Like, they have a lot of counter spells, so like there's a chance that maybe we can get in there and get something done, but I'm not holding my breath. We have to draw, like, another Becomance. Hieroglyphic main phase, you got it. We play one mountain right now. There's no mountain in the list, Captain. Captain, my captain. Yup. And so we know about leak snare. Push. Perfect. At fairy, at the fairy, go get him. Path this. They have snare for this. All right, we're done here. We're done here. We're dead. Fine. I mulligan to oblivion, and we died. Who is shocked? I think this is the game I mulligan, right? Probably. All of the pump spells need to get out of the deck. They are so bad. All of the interaction needs to get in the deck. They are good. They are very good. All of it. Get it in there. You in there. In there. We can't get all the pump spells out of the deck. That sucks. We can cut like this and the pushes is that in, like enough god it's sudden when you have like six cards that are like pretty dedicated in your sideboard for a matchup and like still probably not enough all right let's let's get one of these out Put one of these in it's like it's like better with the arcanist the comments is and also just like the comments is a little better on its own gosh they have a rest in peace though ugh blech Blech. I don't know. We'll try this. We'll try this. We'll try to get something done with this. Kind of a beating. Kind of a beating, really. Yeah, this is exactly why. Like, no threats. I'm not keeping, like... I'm not going to try to bobble for a threat, right? Like, come on. Mulligan. There we go. This seems much better. Keep the bolt on bottom. Card's bad. Uh, let's play this. And fetch. And we'll shock in the Overgrown Tomb. Give it back. Overgrown Tomb. Pay two life. Let's see. Maybe it's just a maybe it's just a like bobble me. I think it was just a bobble first before thoughts easing. No matter what, uh, I'm gonna bobble them. Planes. Thoughts ease you. 
So that is actually nice to know that there's a land on top of their deck. They do have a rest in peace in their deck. I don't think I supremely care about the rest in peace. I care about all the removal spells. It's like Path of Exile and Celestial Purge are both pretty pretty brutal. Uh, yeah. This matchup's gotta suck. Yeah, let's hope you pick up a discard spell. Do the reckon this is actually a pretty good pickup? Because it kind of forces them to purge, then we get to go like creature, creature. Ooh, or we can just thought these. That's repulsive. Okay, they went tapped. Hollowed fountain. Alright. Good to know. That was such a good pickup. Um. Thoughtseize. I'm not playing... I'm playing the Shadow, right? Not the Swiss Spear. Maybe I was supposed to play the Swiss Spear. No, the Shadow hits harder. So I should play Hate Starts last. The whole Hate Starts last thing. Thoughtseize. You. Maybe I'm playing the Swiss Spear. I don't know. I didn't actually do the math. Rest of Peace is obnoxious against Dreadhorn Arcanist. Take the purge. There's another black source to fetch, right? Oh, no, I'm just an idiot. Excellent. Excellent. You guys are probably just saying that in the chat, that I'm really stupid. And you'd be right. All right, well, we missed out on a point of damage. If they live at one, then I'm an idiot. Or two if I find the uh, battle rage. If they live at two, then I'm an idiot. Yep, that's fine. All right. Do we know about the third and fourth lands? No, we know about the third lands. Oh, gosh, I mean, I don't know how we're supposed to like, how we're supposed to actually beat the Supreme Verdict. Whatever, I guess we're just gonna hope they don't have it or hope that we draw like pretty well. Take out more become immenses. This is fine. That's land four, right? Yeah, I think it is. I didn't think we knew about that one. We did not. All right. That's to be another discard spell. Is not. Um. Fine if they cut me off white. Combat. Let's hit him for seven. Then they Supreme Verdict. And we have like two threats to play, but they're pretty mopey threats. Build a ruin. Not playing a basic is pretty awful. I won't lie to you guys. Yeah, Captain, uh, I figured that out. That we do not have a blood crypt. All right. Uh, so Spears is the better threat, so we're going to play it. And probably die. I mean, we need to draw like Shadow. We need to draw Discard Spells. Because I think they have a Cryptic Command. Like they just blow up another land. Sure. Gosh, this matchup's awful. Ugh. This game has not felt close at any point. Then again, their opening hand was very good. I guess that's to their credit. Alright, let's fetch the last land in our deck. Can no longer play green spells. We're at four, die to a colonnade hit. Boop, there's this. Go. Can I cast Nicodles either? No Nicodles. Oh, well, now we're dead. I don't think I actually have an answer to that in my deck. All right, cool. We both did. We both played hard. We both played very, very hard. Recipes being randomly good against you because of Arcanist is kind of a beating. Like, you have... I guess you have Becomments too, so like you have like two things, but that's still like a lot. It's better than Tarma Wife is under a Recipes though. Like, Tarmogoyf's an 0-1, and, like, at least Arcanus is still a 1-3. Trample. Trample. So you can still, like, load it up with spells, and that's reasonable. I don't know. I don't know what spells you're loading it up to. You can't cast uh, the comments. But that matchup, I mean, going into it, I knew it was going to be pretty hard. Based on the sideboard, it's pretty obvious. It's probably pretty hard. Probably should have brought in that stupid one white spell, too, just for the spot removal. I didn't think about, like, all the purges and pass and stuff they get after board. So, like, I think I actually should have made a mistake... In sideboarding, what the heck? 
This is one of those hands I have no idea how to like actually like sequence, right? Uh, I mean, with the keep. So this is, we can lose four, seven life on turn one, so I can go to 13. Don't discard me. My hand could be anything. My hand could be anything at all. Don't discard me. No. <laughs> You're going to make me figure this out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you start with Bobble on me, and then if I want the card, I Street Wraith and Bobble again. If I don't want the card, I Fetch, Shock, Bobble again, and I don't Wraith right away. Oh, you dick. Why, why did you tank on this? You went turn one Swamp Tank. Thoughtsies. Tanked for like 30 seconds. I don't understand. What was your other option? Take the shadow. You're a genius. Become moments. All right, let's cast Bobble. Mode is so much faster to play than Arena. Right. Target me. Do I want this card? Become moments. I don't want this card. So I should fetch. And then I should shock in something that matters. Ugh. Over into him? Over into him. I think I'm I think I want to like play a discard spell in turn one, so we're gonna grab this. We're gonna cast another bobble. Wait, no, I screwed this up. Uh, Cause yeah, I can't control this draw step yet. I can figure out what they're on. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna bobble on their turn. Uh, I guess I should just pass. No, because I kind of want to. I kind of want a discard spell. All right. Tilt. All right. Let's see what they're on. Spew. Let's just spew. That's fine. Yeah. What do you want? Thoughtsies again, huh? All right, well, this last card is protected, but I don't really know what any of these cards do because I don't know what they're on. Thoughts using me again? Inquisition me. Do you, have a, do you even have a land? Do you have a land to cast your other thoughts ease? This could still be like Jun with a pretty poor hand so far. I mean, it's good if they have another land, but I'm assuming the, the way they're sequencing this means they probably don't have another land. Maybe they do. Drake Dreadhorde Arcanist. All right, fetch. Hmm. You supposed to? Are you supposed to fetch Captain? Are you supposed to fetch uh, Stomach Ground of the Blind? Well, they chose not to discard me. I guess they have a Fatal Push. Ooh, Shadow's a good pickup. Um, so they know about this, so I'm going to play it, crack. Grab Sacred Foundry. Play Swiss Spear, which is the only threat they know about. Combat. Hey -ah. They did not kill it. What a tilt. Alright, well here's a 3-3. Go. Now they feel rewarded for not pushing. Blech. I don't think holding there does anything. But we're about to get Liliana the Veiled, which sucks. Maybe I just like missing this whole thing. Maybe we're not supposed to put any of my threats in play. Oh, it's just Lingering Souls? Okay, that's fine. We could Battle Rage around that. Uh, if they double block, I don't really care for the trade, so I'm just going to play this. And put this in. And then pass. I think I have one more land to fetch. I don't want to offer up the double block, because I don't really have anything I want to cast. 
Although we know about another Thoughtseize, right? Yeah, we do. Maybe I should just run it into it because I, I blanking their Thoughtseize has value. Yeah. I may have just missequenced that. Like, I, it might have been worth it to attack into the souls and then if they double block, just like put comments. I should be okay with it. Because we're not going to be able to hold everything. Like, we're not going to be able to hold till we hit the combo because of their discard spells. So, like, getting the, like, trade with this and like some tokens which like leaves us in a better position than we are like right now flashback souls that's fine just need like a spell to cast fetch thin the deck nope oh my god a dead land sweet I've already taken too long. I can't sell the can't sell the spell draw. Alright. Next turn after playing this tapped. I think I'm going to attack with both to try to sell that I drew a spell. Soren Lord of Innistrad, you got it. Am I dead? Oh, they're just gonna make a life linker, sure. Attack with two, that's fine. Bolt's a good draw. Uh stack storm. What does this cost making emblem? Two? Blech. All right, yeah, we'll just continue to hold the spells. If they emblem, they attack for four, what happens? Which doesn't really matter. I can't really stop it, so I'm just going to hold the bolt in case we end up with enough pump spells to go face. Like Because I don't want to make a decision on this yet, I'm just going to hold it. Like, I think they're supposed to emblem. But I don't really know. I don't really know. That's fine. Echo two, put me to five. This is kind of a complicated board state. The fact they have an emblem yet is just so good for me. Like I would have died if they just sat down and emblemed, right? Like I don't think I could win the game. Oh wow. Uh. Well, I attacked last turn. I don't want to signal that anything's changed. Oh, jeez. You have a push? It's disgusting. Um, if they go to blocks... Gosh, they're just not going to do anything? That's fine. Go to damage. Now they're going to make a decision? This is so weird. This thing was taken by my opponent is really odd. Alright. Um, bolt, take three. Yeah, I guess we just need to draw the battle rage. So I'm just going to bolt this. I think if we draw the battle rage here, that... God, this is kind of complicated. But yeah, I just, I just want to put myself drawing to Battle Rage. So I want to get Soren off the table so I'm not just dead. Because if I leave Soren around, I just die. So I have to kill Soren here. But... I think this still lets me have a draw to... Like, if they have another Soren, I'm dead. But I think this lets me draw to... Draw to Team or Battle Rage to win. Still drawing Team or Battle Rage to win? Yeah. Okay, now look. Now you get to figure out I have no basics. Congrats. Attack for three. So we can seven. Yeah, we should need. We should need to draw the the battle rage. Assuming they have nothing. If they have a removal spell. I'm very very dead. I'm just very dead now. 
six, seven. Yeah, they can just let everything happen out of die. Dang it! What is this deck? It's like tokens deck. This can't be a good matchup either, I bet. Anything with Path to Exile on it is probably a horrific matchup. Uh, duresses seem great. Like, they don't look like they actually have any creatures. They're just all, like, tokens. And you know what gets you tokens is Team or Battle Rage. Team or Battle Rage gets through tokens. Alright, I just want, like, all this stuff. Pushes and bolts seem awful. So I'm going to cut at least two bolts. Both pushes for sure. Uh, Become Lance, I think, is a little worse than Battle Rage. Just because of, like, Shadow... Um, so I think I'm going to shave probably two Becomimenses to also the place where I would like rest in peace. I'm going to shave at least two Becomimenses, which makes the like battle rages maybe a little bit worse. Maybe I don't want four, maybe I want three. I could buy I only want three. Um, then what sucks? I don't know what our last cut should be. Maybe Inquisition just actually isn't very good. Like, they have some four drops in their deck, and I don't want to, like, blank it. Like, Duress is probably better. Maybe, yeah, maybe we just don't want this much discard. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I like this. I think I like this. Just shaving on some bolts, shaving on some Becomimenses, and getting the pushes out of the deck. I would shave all the bolts. You want all the bolts out of the deck? Really? So we shave all the bolts. What does that look like? We put like another battle rage in the deck. Maybe leave a become mints in. I don't want to leave another become mints in. Maybe like a discard spell. All right. If the bolts are that bad, I could buy. I could buy that. You just don't like any of the bolts at all, Captain. Captain, my Captain. That's so much discard. I want to put one bolt in the deck over the Inquisition, and we'll just cut. We'll just cut. We'll cut three bolts. I think, I think Bolt could have some targets. Also, like, the fact that Pressure's Planeswalkers is really nice because they could just defend their Planeswalkers with a bunch of tokens, and we don't really have a great way through all that. Hey, look, it's the same, like, kind of hand that I probably screwed up last game. Uh, now, they're a discard deck, so maybe let's just do all this on their turn. Wild. I can also just, like, Swiss Beer. This is such a weird thing that I have going on here. Like, these baubles are so slow. I guess I think I just want to, like, spew. Yeah, I think I want to spew. So I'm going to spew. Uh, hmm, I should have cycled this first, I think. Uh, yeah, we're just going to do it now, then. Wow. All right. We can't really afford to draw another land. Combat deck for three. They're stopping their upkeep and see their draw off for turn. All right, what are you drawing? Shambling vent. Okay, we know about a shambling vent. And they play courtyard on one. Ha! Discard me, clown. Nice. <laughs> Joke's on you. I have three lands in my hand. Because I have all these mystery cards. Alright, let's see what you're let's see what you're gonna draw next turn. A swamp. You have a lot of lands as well, my friend. Alright, let's draw three cards. Good old ancestral. Needs to be a pretty good ancestral. Oh, duress. Well, one of these lands is blank. Let's cash out our fetch lands while we still can. Boop, fetch, shock, yes. I think we're dead. I think we drew one too many lands. I think we're actually just dead right now, but we'll see. We might not be dead. There's a chance we're not dead. Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize, cast down. All right, we'll take a cast down. Pay life. All right, and we're going to be kind of bad, but like once again, we're just like blanking these Thoughtseizes, which is nice. Also gets them, like, kind of low. Like, I wish I could have waited for a team or battle rage. But once again, these discard spells are going to mean we can't save up to, like, play around team or battle rage. Let's see if they thought seize me. They have one unknown card. Yeah, they thought seize me. They've thrown two of their cards in the garbage can. Nice. <laughs> Joke's on you, but I still have lands in hand. All right, well, we have a thought seize of our own. Of their hand, we still know everything but one card. 
Uh, I mean, it gives it gives prowess, so I think we are going to thought seize them. Hopefully they have something we care about. A thought seize? Alright, yeah, they just have like field ruins and stuff. Alright, well, let's cash out this other fetch land while we still can. Alright. Boop. Nope. Pretty soon we're going to be able to get blocked by the Shambling Vent, but my opponent has no spells. I have no spells. I feel like that favors them, but we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, the TBR combo, I mean, the TBR combo in this matchup has the same problem it has against, like, John and stuff like that, where, like, they have a lot of removal spells and a lot of discard spells, but the thing is, a lot of our other cards are still bad. Okay, that's fine. Picking off my lands. Okay. Thoughtsies. What are the chances they drew a spell? Don't feel high. But it does give prowess, which is important to me. Cash this out for prowess. And if they drew a Soren, then it's kind of nice. It's going to have a target. No targets. All right. Yeah, they drew a land. Uh, I think I'm going to put this in tapped. Go to combat and attack for two. So they have three lands in their hand, and they can start blocking next turn with Shambling Vent. Which means we need to draw the one bolt in my deck. There's no pushes in my deck. I mean, realistically, we should draw a better threat. <laughs> We're not, like, really getting anything done here. This is kind of where the discard spells are going to be pretty bad. But I was hoping to be able to line them up against like their Planeswalkers and stuff. And instead they just have a bunch of lands. And I think that's going to favor them in this top deck war where it's a Monastery Swiss Fair versus a Shambling Vent. Creature lands too broke. Creature lands too broke. Well, if we draw TBR, it's going to be a good one. Because like it's just like really good against Shambling Vent. Looking for a Death Shadow though. Opponent drew a spell. Opponent drew a good spell. Alright, and all of a sudden, just like that, we're close to dead. Alright, maybe not. Alright, we're going to make the bold attack. We're probably going to take one here. If they double block, then you got me, but we're going to make this bet, assuming they're not going to call. Opponent, what are you thinking so long for? Stop. I want to attack and die. Kill me. All right, one. Boom. Go get him, tiger. This is that ballsy attack. Hopefully I don't double block. You're thinking about it. Fuck you! If I have a spell, I blow you out. They might have a push. Alright, you got me. Right? Alright, no, whatever. We'll keep playing. They called? I can't believe they called. And they didn't call last time. What the heck? Alright. So, now we're still two turns away from dead. We can't animate vent. They're gonna attack me for five. If I draw a creature to block vent, I'm still good to go, assuming they don't block. Land. I don't think land's it, chief. All right. If they don't block, then we concede. The double block, okay. Oh, they're like terrified of battle rage and stuff. Alright, sure. I guess we're still in this game. They double blocked for whatever reason. Wow, they can shrink my Nakaddle now. Sick. That sucks. Did they just hit the wrong land? Oh no, they took out the mountain. Yeah, 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 that's the one they need to take out. I'm sure dumb. They could take it out either, I guess. Cutting me off red, cuts me off battle rage. And they have more castles. I know they should have this. So we need to find a Death Shadow. Oh, wow. 
All right, whatever. Nice. Nice. Three dead fetch lands. We drew a lot of lands in that game. All right, well, we finished three and two. Beat on the decks that we kind of expected to beat on. The decks that were, like, kind of trying not to interact. We kind of beat the crap out of those. Although, except for the rack. We kind of just beat up the rack. Um, got absolutely bodied by anything with Path to Exile in it. Oh, that's not true. This had, this had Path to Exile in it. Fine. By... The, uh, the like, fairer mid-range slash control-ish deck. So, that's kind of what I expect. If I remember right, that's kind of what happened to this deck. Is, like, Jun picked up a little bit. Blue-White picked up a little bit. And both those matchups are horrific. And then the Shadow deck itself kind of got more fair. And so, like, the, the Death Shadow Zoo-ish style decks went from being pretty dominant to, like... I don't know about dominant. I guess, like, very big competitors in the format to, like, not very good at all. Um... And I think that's kind of my take on this deck. It's sweet, and I guess if Neoform, we didn't get to play against Neoform at all, but that, that's that's coming up next. If we if Neoform becomes the format, maybe like this is like a very reasonable option. But as long as people, as long as it's modern and people want to play whatever they want, and you're gonna end up with like, you know, people playing tokens, and that deck's just like probably not even close to beatable for this deck. And Blue White's also pretty god awful. I imagine Jun's also pretty awful. Like, all these, like, black-green, these, like, super mid-range decks that can, like, discard you, removal spell you, and then play big fat creatures that can block all your little dudes, so, like, your only real threat is Death Shadow. I think that, like, those matchups are going to be pretty tough. Um, but if we keep playing against stuff like Boggles or, like, Dredge or, you know, Neoform combo, this deck's probably great. <laughs> this deck's poised for a comeback the more linear the format gets. So, like, you can Thought Season and still have it backed up by a pretty good clock. The sideboard was kind of wacky. Uh, the ancient grudges were a little awkward. I don't. I don't really know. I didn't really want all of them, but like I played against the rack, I guess so it doesn't really count. But and like also like having all of this stuff seems like it's just for matchups that are good. So like maybe I would only have one of these in the sideboard. Like the second one feels unnecessary. This is a lot of discard. I don't know if there's like better interactive spells, but like engineered explosives is something I would have been interested in there against tokens. And I don't think that's like going to be a unique stance. Like I think if you have a What's it called? Engineer Explosives in your sideboard is going to be pretty good against, like, all the token strategy as well as, like, um, random permits, stuff like that. So maybe, like, a little bit less discard, a little bit more, like, I don't know, answers to other stuff. But overall, the deck felt sweet. Cyborg felt like a little nonsense, but, I mean, as it stands, we had, like, a bunch of cards in the sideboard for control and still couldn't beat control. Maybe we want, like, Bitter Blossom in the sideboard for control. Like, that might be, like, that matchup might just be bad enough that we want Bitter Blossom in Modern. Like, that card's, just, like, not very good. But, like, it's not like we want it for the, the uh, mid, uh, mid-range, my god. The fair matchups. We want it for, like, the mid-range specifically matchups. And I think that actually might be, like, good tech. Like, we also want a basic. Holy cow, there's way too many field of ruins and paths for not having a basic. So, I think I want a basic somewhere in this deck. We can cut a fetch land and put, like, a mountain or whatever in the deck. Might be actually supposed to be a swamp. I think it's supposed to be a swamp. Uh, but... No, it's supposed to be a mountain because of uh, because of Wild Nicotle. So yeah, I think that's what I think that's what the changes I would want to make to this deck. Deck overall felt pretty sweet. Felt like it could be powerful. Um, definitely far from the worst deck I've played on stream. And it's the kind of shadow deck that I wish was actually good. Hey, Bob Nanos, thank you much for the follow. I really appreciate it. It's kind of like I, I wish it was like the best shadow variant, but isn't unfortunately like. The Grixis version is the best. And honestly, Grixis isn't even well positioned if you're a Dalloway follower on Twitter. He just says nothing about how bad the deck is right now. And I'm inclined to agree based on how popular, like, Humans is. And, um, I don't know. Just, I guess Humans is the big one, right? Like, Humans is just, like, every time Humans is good, the Death Shadow is, like, really bad because that matchup is horrific. Uh, for, for Shadow. So, anyways... Thank you very much. That will conclude this um, this league we played here with this sublist. Thank you very much for USS Captain for subscribing and for shipping me the sublist. It was really sweet. It was a lot of fun to play. Honestly, it went pretty quick too. We were done in under two hours. We played a full league in under two hours, so that was that was pretty wild. Nakato, um, thank you very much for sticking around. If you're here with me on Twitch, jam that follow button. We've had a couple follows here while I've been streaming. Thank you guys very much. Um, it's easy way to support me. I'll let you know when I go live. If you're watching on YouTube, welcome back. Sorry about the, the uh, skip in content for a week. Uh, jam that subscribe button if you're new here. It's easy way to support me on YouTube. And we'll uh, let you know when I post more videos on YouTube. Um, 
if you have been watching Beneath My Face this whole time, there's been a scrolling list of sponsors. They sponsor not just Team Nova, but this stream as well. So thank you very much for those sponsors. Make sure to check them out. Hipstersofthecoast.com is a content production website that I write for, as does the rest of Team Nova. We have content going up weekly, and we also post our deck list before every tournament. I think the article usually goes up on Friday. It's uh, just our deck list for whatever open we're playing in the given weekend, so you'll see that this weekend for Richmond. You're going to be able to see what sweet decks we're going to be piloting there. Uh, the End Games is a store in Charlottesville. They lend us cards for this uh, week one standard, and they also uh, sell us cards at a discount. You two can get a discount using code TEAMNOVAMTG for 10% off your order on singles on their website, which you can find in the panels below or in the description below if you're on YouTube. should have the links to all of our sponsors' websites. Manatraders.com is the service I use to rent cards so I can stream for you guys. I could not stream without Manatraders. Awesome service. So highly recommend you guys check them out if you're looking to get better at Magic. It's the easiest way to test a bunch of different decks. And they also have paper rental services if you guys go to paper tournaments. So you can check them out. Use code TEAMNOVAMTG for 15% uh, off your first three months. And there is a link in the description slash panels below, depending on what platform you're on, to get started on that. Manatraders is awesome. Please check them out. Last but not least, Inkling Customs is an artist that follows around a lot of the Magic tournaments. I think she's been at every single Mythic Championship. She was at PAX East, and she goes to a lot of different Opens. You can check out her website below if you don't plan on making it out to any of those events and buy some of the tokens. I believe the tokens that are for the Team Nova tokens are online. The Team Nova tokens look awesome. If you follow any of the Team Nova members on Twitter, Facebook, etc., um, you can usually find that art either as their profile picture or their, uh, their what do you call it, cover photos. The, all the art's awesome. We're in love with it. She did a great job. She also did the Team Nova logo and various other, um, what is it, likenesses for all of the like Platinum Pros and stuff like that. She did a service for them. So she's really awesome. Highly, highly recommend you check her out and support her. She's an awesome person, and we're very happy to be uh, sponsored by her. So thank you very much to all the sponsors, and thank you very much to all of you. And I'll see you next time.